This is Smart Pizza, and in this episode, you'll see some incredible giants. From huge whales, fish, and sharks to the biggest and fattest pets and domestic animals. Let's go! The biggest in history. Virtually any blue whale is huge. All of these animals are very large, massive, long, and so on. But there are record breakers among them as well. Basically, they were recorded in the times when whaling was still allowed. Then the whales caught could be safely weighed and measured. On the other hand, finding footage of these record-breaking whales is virtually impossible. The longest recorded whale was a female slaughtered by whalers in 1926 near the South Shetland Islands in the Antarctic. There's no picture of this individual, but there is another of what this female could look like. Its length was 110.1 feet. It was since then that they began to say that whales grow up to 108 feet in length. This female whale weighed about 150 tons, but this isn't the limit. Whales are known to weigh more than 180 tons. And in 1947, a 190-ton blue whale was caught near South Georgia. But even this isn't the limit. Incredibly, the most massive blue whale in history was found not too long ago. What's more, it was even caught on camera. Here it is. This giant was caught on camera in September 2012 when it swam into the coastal waters of Australia. Of course, the whale wasn't fished out, but scientists who reviewed the footage concluded that it may have weighed over 200 tons. It was about twice the size of an ordinary blue whale, and its length was hefty, about 98 feet. This whale was not only a record breaker, but also a rare gift for Australians because in the place where the whale was seen, these giants are not found very often in general. By the way, in fact, the blue whale is not the largest animal in the world. To be more precise, the blue whale is not a finite species. It's subdivided into three subspecies, the northern, the Antarctic, and the pygmy. We're interested in the Antarctic species. It's this blue whale subspecies that's considered the largest in the entire world and in all history. It's among these giants that record holders are most often found, and it's they which most often grow up to 98 feet or more in length and weigh over 150 tons. By the way, it's also the most numerous subspecies, making up the bulk of the blue whale population. By the way, it leaves much to be desired. Only 10 to 25,000 of these amazing creatures remain in the world. The Antarctic blue whale is a record breaker not only in terms of overall size, it also has the largest body parts of any animal. But not all of them. For example, its throat is very small, only 4 inches in diameter. So the blue whale definitely can't eat a person, but it can eat several tons of krill in a day, so its appetite is really record-breaking. The blue whale also has the largest heart and tongue in the animal world. Antarctic blue whales are also very loud. Their cries reach a volume of 190 decibels. A rocket launches and flies into space at the same volume. It's a pity that these amazing giants may soon become extinct due to human activity. Let's not talk about sad things. Let's better take our minds off whales and look at other giants of the world ocean. Keep watching to see a jellyfish with tentacles dozens of meters long, a huge stingray, a giant octopus you don't want to encounter underwater, and more. Lion's Mane Jellyfish What do you picture jellyfish to be like? Personally, I always think of SpongeBob and Patrick chasing pink jellyfish in Bikini Bottom. Or you can think of those jellyfish that Marlin and Dory used to wade through in Finding Nemo. In any case, both jellyfish are not very big. But there are some real giants among these creatures, like the lion's mane jellyfish, also known as the giant jellyfish. It looks unreal. This is the largest jellyfish in the world. The tentacles of some individuals can stretch for several dozens of meters, and the largest measured jellyfish had tentacles of up to 120 feet long. That's the height of a 12-story building. The bell of the jellyfish is also impressive. Next to such a giant, even divers sometimes seem small. By the way, it's not very dangerous to swim near the lion's mane jellyfish. It can sting, but not fatally, like, for example, some Australian box jellyfish. The maximum effect from contact with tentacles is a rash or allergy. Manta Ray Next up is the majestic stingray. 
The manta is sometimes called a devil ray, but I personally wouldn't call this amazing creature that. It's not diabolical, though its appearance can frighten anyone. After all, it's the largest stingray in the world, sometimes up to 30 feet wide and weighing three tons. It may seem that such a stingray is capable of devouring even a human being, but for us it poses no danger. Manta rays feed on fish larvae and zooplankton. They're definitely not interested in humans. Once sailors and fishermen heaved a sigh of relief after learning this information, but before many were afraid to go to sea, the ancient sailors believed that the manta ray could hug the ship with its giant fins and drag it to the bottom. By the way, these animals are interesting in another way. They love to fly. But in fact, this is not a controlled flight. Manta rays just jump out of the water, like whales, and plan a little, spreading their fins. It looks unusual. Whale Shark Not all giants are dangerous to humans, as you've already seen. The whale shark is another example of the fact that large size in the world of marine animals does not always mean aggression, anger, or danger. It's the largest shark and fish in the world that often grows up to 39 feet in length. Sometimes these creatures grow even bigger, up to 60 or even 66 feet, weighing 20 to 30 tons. They are much larger than bull sharks or great white sharks, but thousands of times safer than them. Whale sharks never attack humans, they simply swim in the ocean, eat plankton, and never in a hurry. The speed of the whale shark rarely exceeds even 3 miles per hour. Interestingly, by the way, the whale shark has much more teeth than its predatory relatives. Their number reaches up to 15,000, but they're so small that they won't cause any harm to a person, even if the whale shark bites them. By the way, as for humans, whale sharks behave differently with them. To some divers, whale sharks come by themselves. They're famous for their curiosity and don't mind spending time in the company of people. To other divers, whale sharks are indifferent. They ignore them and don't react to them in any way. Many take advantage of this and literally ride on the back of this giant or cling to its fin. This is an interesting experience, but you shouldn't do so, and in some countries it's even forbidden by law. The fact is that these harmless giants are very vulnerable and easily injured so a careless touch to a whale shark can harm it. These beauties are worth protecting. They're considered an endangered species. Orca Finally, we get to the real predator. The orca is probably the largest and most dangerous marine hunter of our time. Reaching a length of 33 feet, this creature weighs about 8 tons. Orcas successfully use their size, developed intelligence, and tactical hunting skills not without reason, they're called killer whales. They are as ruthless, cold-blooded, and merciless as possible to their prey. Literally anyone can become a killer whale's prey, because this big creature needs to eat a lot to keep itself in shape. Seals suffer from their attacks most often. Orcas have long known how these creatures like to rest in the ice in the middle of the sea. It's no hindrance to them. They gather in a group and begin to ram and beat the ice and create waves, trying to throw their prey into the water they usually succeed. Orcas are also not afraid to hunt dangerous sharks. Sometimes even one orca can hunt a small group of predatory sharks and return with the victory and some prey. What's more, orcas are not afraid to attack even whales. Few animals in the ocean are able to deal with such a giant besides orcas. With all of this, it's surprising that orcas are not dangerous for humans. More precisely, they're dangerous only in captivity when they go crazy from lack of space and food. There were cases when orcas attacked animal handlers, and it ended badly. In the wild, they can attack a ship or boat or accidentally hit a swimmer while hunting someone. But if a swimmer or diver is just next to an orca, they have nothing to worry about. Killer whales often swim with divers and enjoy spending time and playing with them. Orcas play not only with people but also with the next animal in this episode, the ocean sunfish. But it seems to me that in this case the killer whale rather mockingly plays with the prey in order to get rid of it later. The ocean sunfish is very large, and when a human rather than an orca is near it, it becomes obvious. These creatures are the heaviest bony fish in the world. Their mass can even exceed two tons. Not so long ago, last October, off the coast of the Azores, they caught the body of the ocean sunfish weighing 6,049 pounds and it was the absolute record for bony fish. In addition, the ocean sunfish is also the most prolific species among vertebrates. Females can produce up to 300 million eggs at a time, 
This is some fantastic number, which is hard to believe, but it's real. However, the mother doesn't take care of its offspring in any way, and almost all of these eggs die. And ocean sunfish themselves are quite weak. They're often eaten by sea lions, orcas, and sharks. So it's not surprising that this species is considered vulnerable. Giant Pacific Octopus Some still believe that the Kraken is real and actually lives somewhere in the ocean. If that's what you think too, then you're right, the Kraken is real, at least in this form. No, seriously, the giant Pacific octopus could very well pass for a baby of the mythical kraken because it's simply astonishing in terms of size. The length of some individuals can reach 30 feet, and their weight is almost 440 pounds. These creatures live in the Pacific Ocean at great depths, where they hunt crustaceans and mollusks, and sometimes they even hunt divers. There have been cases where giant Pacific octopuses have attacked divers by wrapping their creepy tentacles around them. And according to some reports, several divers have even become victims of these krakens of the real world. It's up to you whether to believe it or not. Nakumi In 2020, a team of researchers from Osearch traveled off the coast of Nova Scotia to encounter large sharks and take samples of their cells and blood. This is to better understand the migration pattern of the predators across the North Atlantic. A month after the expedition began, the people finally got lucky. They came across a shark about 16 feet long and weighing more than one and a half tons. Judging by its size and appearance, the fish was more than 50 years old at that moment. They immediately lifted it aboard with the help of a special platform and tied it down. The shark was nicknamed Queen of the Ocean, or Nukumi. This name refers to the legendary wise grandmother of the Mekumic people. When the fish was caught, it was surprisingly calm, almost not twitching. Although they took blood and samples of skin, bacteria from its teeth, and even feces, in total, the scientists collected samples for as many as 21 studies. When it was done, the shark was released back into its native environment. It was the largest predator the research center had ever seen. A miracle from Canada Sometimes people encounter amazing but still ordinary creatures. For example, sharks. But sometimes they encounter monsters that no one would ever believe existed if they hadn't seen them with their own eyes. I would call this deep sea creature to be one of them. It was caught in Bonavista Bay in northwest Newfoundland from a depth of 2,625 feet. The fisherman, who was fishing alone, said that the fish seemed to have a rubber nose and wings. Even the locals who learned of the find in the first place couldn't recognize it as someone familiar. People made the assumption that it might have been a mutant platypus, but the fish was too big for it. Its length exceeded almost 3.2 feet. A little time passed and the fishermen finally received a detailed answer from scientists. They suggested that this fish is a long-nosed chimera, a creature that has a cartilage with a venomous spine on its back. It likes to swim at great depths, and that's why people haven't studied it properly yet. What would you do a fish like this if it happened to take your bait? Write in the comments. The alligator gar is one of the largest fish in the United States and Mexico. Why these gars are called alligator ones? You'll soon see why. Here, this fisherman couldn't even think that such a giant right now is on his hook. Through an incredible effort, the man did pull this fish to the shore and once again made sure all the power of the fish he caught. It weighed over 300 pounds. It was definitely one of the biggest fish ever caught by fishermen. The author of the video first decided to check out its teeth and, you know, they were creepy. With these razor-sharp teeth, it could even bite a small alligator in half. However, this fact is only a guess because, as a rule, this species hunts crayfish and small fish. In any case, believe me, these fish know which animals they should better hunt. After all, they've been living on this planet for more than 100 million years. For such a long time, they've not come up with anything more effective than an ambush in the algae and an attack by one quick jerk. Swordfish In August 2022, a fisherman from the United States was going on another fishing trip, an activity he does every week. It seemed like nothing could surprise the man, but that day proved otherwise. A man named Brandon Carney had been failing for a long time. The fish were not taking the bait at all. In an attempt to influence the result, he decided to change his strategy and use different bait, which had to be lowered to a depth of 325 feet rather than kept on the surface. Not even half an hour later, the reel of the spinning rod began to stir. 
It started spinning very fast, which meant there was something incredibly big on the end of that line. Carney tried to take matters into his own hands and just pull the prey out of the water, but it was too heavy. So much so that even the fisherman's electric reel malfunctioned and he had to use a regular one. Brandon fought with the fish for more than two hours. He methodically lifted it foot by foot from the big depth and finally got it. The swordfish was over 13 feet long and weighed about 500 pounds. It became the fisherman's personal record. Giant Halibut Another personal record was set by the Briton Paul Stevens, who got an incredible halibut in the same year of 2022. Fishing in Norway, the man pulled out of the water a six and a half foot long fish weighing 397 pounds. Moreover, as Paul himself says, he was very lucky and almost died while fishing. The catch was so big and aggressive that it didn't fall prey to the line and his efforts and swam away somewhere in the distance. Using such energy, this halibut dragged the boat almost a mile. Had the fish known that no one was going to eat it, the man was just interested in catching someone for the sake of process, no more than that. Eventually, the man fished the halibut out, took a couple or three pictures, measured it, and released it back into the wild so it could live in peace. Funny thing is, it's not the largest caught member of the species in history. There have been cases where fishermen have fished out halibuts weighing over 660 pounds. I wonder what they might have done to Stephen's boat drag it with him to the bottom? Write in the comments, how would you fight such a big fish? Personally, I'd always go fishing on a big, heavy boat and having a couple of electric reels on it. Octopus Catching Let's take our minds off fish and talk about the octopus. This is a well-known creature that we're used to seeing in the videos of various research groups, in diver videos and so on. But have you ever wondered if it's possible to catch it? And if so, what do you need to do for this? It turns out that you can catch this creature just like a fish, but it's worth taking into account some important moments, without which fishing can be a failure. The first and most important thing is, of course, the bait. The best in the case of the octopus is a crab. Also, in order to catch an octopus, special traps are used. Since these creatures love to hide, then some jugs, some kind of car tires or unnecessary pipes will do. With everything in their arsenal, a fisherman will only have to throw the bait deeper because these creatures do not swim near the surface and hope for luck. Like the one that came to the man in this video. What would you do with such a big octopus if it took your bait? Write in the comments. Arapaima The next fish that was caught by fishermen is the Arapaima. Because of its aggressive nature and large size, it's called the king of the reservoirs. Hunting such a fish is even a little scary. Despite all the strength that lurks in its body, the arapaima moves quite calmly on the water surface and does not think about anyone. It understands that having reached such a large size, no one else is able to swallow it alive. Moreover, it's been following this plan for more than a million years. Oh my God, so big, get him! The arapaima swam on the planet 135 million years ago and looked almost exactly the same. The larynx and swim bladder of the fish are covered with lung tissue, which allows it to breathe normal air. It's a rather unusual ability for a fish, although it's found in other species. Being incredibly large, the arapaima still pretends to be a chaotically floating log and then makes a sharp jerk towards its prey. Amazingly, it works. Though why be surprised? It's really strong. Even three grown men can barely hold their catch in their hands, and when they decided to let it back out, it hit them, which shows the incredible strength and dexterity of the fish. Paddlefish The paddlefish is one of the largest freshwater fish in the United States, with a distinctive long snout. Scientists used to believe that paddlefish use it to dig up vegetation from the bottom of lakes and rivers, but in fact, they use it to feed by filtering out zooplankton from the bottom. This elongated thing, also called a rostrum, is larger than the rest of its head. It contains receptors that can sense electrical fields, which means that paddlefish literally turn on their head using their paddle as an antenna to search for zooplankton. These fish have a fairly long lifespan, which is why they're in no hurry to reproduce until the males are more than five years old. As for the females, do you know how many eggs they can lay? More than a million. I wonder how many more giants like the one that was caught by the guy in the video are swimming in the local reservoirs. The next fish is called mahi-mahi, 
or common dolphin fish. And I'll tell you right away, it's not an easy task to catch it. First of all, it's incredibly hard to catch. Even the speed of many motorboats is not comparable to the speed of this swift fish. The second fact is intelligence. The head of the mahi-mahi is not bad thinking, which means that it will never bite on simple tricks. Therefore, in order to catch it, it's necessary to invent something new, something that it's never seen before. In such circumstances, oh, yeah. the mahi-mahi won't hesitate and will rush towards the bait. The only thing left to do is deal with this frisky and incredibly beautiful giant. Giant Stingray Something tells me that everyone associates stingrays with something not the biggest. They're fish of unusual shape, which everyone's afraid of, bypassed, but at the same time they're strongly interested in. As it turns out, the interest in stingrays has its reasons. One amateur fisherman recently caught the largest ever recorded representative of the species. What's more, the stingray was the largest freshwater fish ever caught. This happened in Cambodia near one of the banks of the Mekong River. A local fisherman caught a stingray with a body length of about 13 feet, weighing about 660 pounds. After ichthyologists measured the stingray and tagged it with a transmitter, it was released, and that the fisherman received compensation for not killing the fish or selling it, but reporting his find to scientists. It's actually quite curious to hear about such an abnormal weight of stingrays, because usually the bones of a creature can weigh quite a lot. Well, a stingray doesn't have them at all. The entire body is a combination of flexible cartilage. Even the jaws are made up of them. However, you have to give nature credit. It's tried and made the stingray's mouth quite strong, capable of biting through the calcium shell of shellfish. Also, stingrays can hunt in the dark, so in theory, one can never hide from them anywhere. Their ability to pick up electrical signals from other creatures helps them do this. Atlantic Tuna The year 1979 will forever go down in fishing history because of at least one event that happened to Ken Fraser, a Canadian fisherman. The man couldn't have imagined that one lucky day he would catch the largest tuna in history at the time, and still is, weighing 1,496 pounds. It's worth noting that the fisherman only caught the tuna for 45 minutes, which is not a long time by the standards of fishing when it comes to the giants of the underwater world. Since that fishing trip in 1979, no fisherman has been able to break the record for the Atlantic tuna. It's hard to believe fish can be this big, I thought to myself, when I saw this big one right after that giant Atlantic tuna. Off the coast of Spain, an ocean sunfish was entangled in a fisherman's net that was over 10 feet long and over 10 feet wide. It was a clear record in that region, but it was 440 pounds, or even less, for the world record at that moment. The record, by the way, was 4,927 pounds at the time. That sunfish was caught off the coast of Sydney, and the modern record is held by the ocean sunfish, which was caught off the coast of the Azores in October 2022. They caught the body of the dead fish, weighing 6,049 pounds. In general, I think that catching a sunfish, if it's then released back into the water, is an interesting activity. The creature has enormous size and at the same time doesn't wish to harm people at all. Even when fishermen accidentally bump their boats into these big guys, there's never any retaliatory aggression. Swordfish After watching people catch swordfish in this video, I wondered, how did other fishermen manage to do something like this by themselves? How'd they catch the giant tuna or any other fish without the help of four hands of two friends? When you're fishing in company, everything looks smooth and easy. But remove even one person from the team, and the process immediately drags on many times, if not fails altogether. By the way, here's an interesting fact about this sea creature. This very sword, after which the fish was named, is not used to pierce a prey. Despite its sharpness and length, the swordfish blows flat, creating a powerful wave that can stun or at least disorient a person. White Sturgeon The next fish to be caught was something of a local legend. Fishermen and residents near the river often talked about the huge sturgeon that lives in this water, but no one could prove its existence until Jeremy Wade, one of the world's top catchers of river monsters, arrived there. He managed to catch the largest freshwater fish in North America. Although it was not a record-breaking large fish, it was certainly one of the experienced fishermen's personal accomplishments. The sturgeon was about six and a half feet long and weighed over 330 pounds. 
But this fish, which was caught only by a group of fishermen, clearly could not have been caught by just one amateur fisherman. Experienced fishermen managed to catch a hammerhead shark that was 15 feet long and weighed over 880 pounds. While you're looking at this big creature, let me tell you a couple of curious facts about this shark. It has small scales that are arranged differently than the others. They are all diamond-shaped and have some kind of notching around the edges. For the hammerhead themselves, this is nothing more than a way of protection and increased maneuverability, but there are those which may need the armor for other purposes. For example, other fish regularly swim up to hammerhead sharks to rub against their armor. But it's not only the scales of this creature that attracts people's interest. Of course, the main role in the life of the shark is played by its hammer. On the lower part of the snout, there are sensors that detect the slightest vibrations of water. Due to the width of the hammer, the bigger areas are covered. All this gives the shark a larger search area for electrical impulses. Halibut the six and a half foot long halibut weighing about 154 pounds. Do such fish even exist? Turned out they do. This amazing fish with an asymmetrical head, round mouth shifted to the right, and a long and flat rhombus shaped body rather oh, quickly yeah. took the bait of a lone fisherman. He fought with it for quite a while but eventually got it up to his boat. This fish has a tough life as a predator with sharp teeth and a working method of hunting. And if it's also endowed with such size, then it'll turn out to be quite a worthy opponent for small sharks and other creatures. Catfish Catfish is a fairly well-known fish that surprises very few people. Its average size is about 3.2 feet in length and 22 to 33 pounds in weight. A fisherman from the Netherlands thought so too, but suddenly in one of the local parks, he caught a monster like this. The underwater inhabitant was about eight and a half feet long and weighed more than 275 pounds. As you can see from the video, the park was not particularly popular at that time, not even among fishermen. But as soon as the man caught this anomalous catfish, the popularity of the place suddenly increased greatly. Don't worry about the fate of the fish, it was released back into the water. Moreover, the authorities have banned fishing, Big Mama, that's how the catfish was nicknamed by the locals. Scientists say that in the near future, this catfish could become even bigger, although I wonder how it can grow even more. California Sheephead Such a strange name is given to this no less strange fish with large protruding teeth. Here's an interesting fact, each representative of this species begins life as a female and then transforms into a male. The California sheephead is not difficult to recognize by its distinctive black and red coloration. It's also one of the largest and toothiest fish in the kelp. They live in small groups along the rocky coast of California. In the daytime, they get food, and at night, they're covered with mucus and hide under stones from the eyes of predators. Usually, their size isn't too big, but here, fishermen caught an anomalous California sheephead, which was nearly three and a half feet long. Scary to imagine how many squids, sea urchins, and other such creatures it had to eat to grow to such a size. The Greenland shark is one of the largest sharks in the world. It can reach almost 21 feet in length and weigh about a ton. Equally phenomenal is the age to which these giants live. Some Greenland sharks celebrate the 400th anniversary and even the 500th anniversary. It's logical that over such a long life, this predatory fish can get to just enormous size. Despite the fact that the Greenland shark is one of the main long livers on our planet, people couldn't study it well enough until now. Even when Jeremy Wade had to dive into the water to measure at the big creature they caught, he jumped out of his skin because no one knew about the potential danger the fish could pose to humans. The Avatar Fish When the next fish was caught by this man, almost every viewer thought it was a fake or an editing. After all, such cute and at the same time colorful creatures simply don't exist. In fact, this is not true, and the avatar fish is more than real. The creature he caught belongs to the species Thalassoma cupido. This species is often found in the water near Japan and China, but the fish never grow larger than a palm. The fish caught was quite large, which is unusual for this species. The avatar fish acquires this coloration because it feeds not only on algae, but also on dead coral plants. This makes the fish far from the most palatable, which of course plays only to its advantage. The only obvious disadvantage of such a coloring is camouflage. It's unlikely that the fish would hide properly in the ocean with such a bright color of scales. Although, who knows? If the fish still exist, it means that somehow they've learned to solve the problem of survival. Let's leave the sea animals alone for a while. We'll come back to them later. And for now, let's take a look at a pig the size of a hippo, a donkey the height of a horse, a huge rooster, a dog, and other unique animals. Pig. 
An average domestic pig is about three to six feet long and weighs between 110 to 330 pounds, but record holders are much bigger. The first of these is a pig named Rumba, who lives in Florida. There's not much information about the pig, but according to the owners, Rumba weighs almost five tons and is 23 feet long. You can tell from the photo that the pig is very big, but it's unlikely that it's that big. I believe much more in the figures about another record holder, a pig named Big Bill. At 8.8 .8 feet long, he weighed 2,553 pounds. The giant pig lived in the first half of the 20th century. Why does one want to believe his numbers? Well, at least because Big Bill was specially grown large as a result of the work of the best pig breeders of the 20th century. Another pig that's conquered the world of agriculture is Chun Chun from China. The pig was born in 1999 and lived only four years. Nevertheless, the pig managed to grow to an unbelievable size. Her weight weighed 1,984 pounds and her length was over eight feet. This was possible due to the fact that Chun Chun ate literally everything and didn't stop growing. Horse Back in the 19th century, the world of agriculture was shocked when word got out about Samson. This horse was also known as Mammoth, and no wonder, just look at how huge he was, quite to match the extinct mammoths. Samson became the highest and the heaviest horse of all time. At maximum, his height was 7.1 feet, and he weighed 3,360 pounds. He was of the Shire breed, a British breed of horse that's incredibly large and fantastically strong. One horse can move and pull an airplane weighing two to three tons, and if there are several shires, they'll haul unimaginable weights at all. Donkey Let's stay on the farms a little while longer. There is at least one other very large animal here, a donkey. In general, donkeys don't seem incredibly large to many people, and it's hard to argue with that. They're smaller than horses. However, there are some real unique donkeys such as Romulus. This donkey from the US has been considered for many years to be the largest on the planet. The 19-year-old giant has a mind-boggling height of almost 5.6 feet. He also weighs a lot, almost 1,325 pounds. This is two to three times the size of an average donkey. Elephant There's no doubt about the size of these animals. It's no secret that elephants are the largest terrestrial animals on the planet. Their length can exceed 16 feet, they rise many meters above the ground, and their weight is measured in tons. According to official data, the record holder of all African bush elephants was the giant shot in Angola in 1974. It weighed 12 tons. But maybe it's time to update the record. Take a look at this footage taken from a car. We see the elephant, it's obviously big, but when the giant gets closer, you're just amazed at how big it really is. I think it could easily weigh more than 10 to 12 tons. What do you think? How much do you think this amazing giant weighs? Write in the comments. In 2014, biologist Forrest Galante discovered an amazing marine find. Take a look at it. It may look like some kind of mutant sea monster or something completely unknown, but it's only a lobster, but a very, very big one. The huge arthropod weighed about 12.1 pounds, so you understand how much it is. An average lobster weighs 1.5 to 1.7 pounds at most. The giant was many times that. Forrest took some pictures with it, shot a video, and even gave the record holder a name, Albert. Forrest took the lobster home and, no, he didn't cook it. Such a rare individual is worth preserving, not eating. After spending the night at Forrest, the lobster went to the Museum of Natural History of the Underwater World. There, experts concluded that Albert was not only big but also old. The lobster was about 70 years old. Crab Next is another arthropod. Not so long ago, this crab caused a furor on the internet and frightened many users. It's not every day that you see such a huge crab. This animal has an interesting name, Big Daddy. It's quite suitable for it, given that the leg span of this arthropod exceeds 10 feet. At the moment, it is the widest arthropod living in captivity. By the way, I forgot to say that this is not just a crab, but a spider crab. These crustaceans live in great depth off the coast of Japan. Basically, all spider crabs are of hefty size, but Big Daddy is bigger than all of them. 
Now I suggest we talk about pets, and we'll start with dogs. A lot of people like big dogs. If you're one of those people, you're gonna love Zeus. Look at this big guy. I can't even believe that dogs can really be that big, but they are. Zeus is absolutely real. His height on four paws is 3.4 feet, and if he stands on hind legs, he'll tower over any person because his height will be seven and a half feet. It looks impressive. To keep his size and to hold his record, Zeus eats a lot. Every day he eats 12 cups of dog food, and he also gets eggs and dog treats. The owners spend a lot of money and have a hard time transporting such a huge dog anywhere. But most importantly, they love him very much. Cat And here's a clip for cat lovers. This is Fenrir. No, not a wolf from Scandinavian mythology, but the biggest cat in the world. This cat of the Savannah cat breed became a record breaker last year. They measured him and found that the height of this giant furball is 19.6 inches. This is about twice the height of an average cat. Genes play the main role here. Fenrir's grandfather was a tall, wild, serval cat, so all his descendants are very tall. But it was Fenrir who excelled. Nature gave him even greater height than his siblings, and now he amazes the world. Alligator Alligators are not only dangerous but also large animals. They're smaller than crocodiles, but their size is still impressive. On average, their length is 10 to 13 feet, and their weight's about 440 pounds. Nevertheless, individuals with a length of at least 15 feet and a weight of about half a ton are reliably known, and the official record holder was caught only recently. In 2014, it was captured in Alabama. Look at this giant. Hunters said that the alligator was so huge that it even broke the mechanisms by which it was lifted. The measurements surprised everybody. The alligator was 15.7 feet long and weighed almost 992 pounds. This is a lot, but not the limit. It's believed that the largest alligator in history was caught in 1890. It was 19 feet long and weighed about a ton. Unfortunately, there are no photos of that reptile, so we can only rely on information from hunters. Stingray Next, we have one of the most recent record breakers. Last summer, in Cambodia, a fisherman caught a truly amazing stingray. It was immediately clear to him that it was no ordinary stingray, but a record-breaking one. And so it was. Experts measured the stingray and found out that it weighed 661 pounds and reached 13.1 feet in length. This was the record among all freshwater stingrays. The huge animal broke the record that had been held since 2005. Fortunately, the stingray wasn't killed, cooked, or treated badly. After measuring the fish, a team of scientists helped release it back into the river. Huge Sheep now we're going to talk about a new breed of sheep, which differs from all the others, with its unusually large size. Although this breed can be called new only de facto since it was actually bred in the 1970s, however, it was registered only in 2021. The Arishan sheep breed from Kyrgyzstan is a fat-tailed sheep, which is characterized by its large size, but compact, strong body, light and strong skeleton, and presence of a heavy, fat tail and the fact that these animals are very active in growth and development. Furthermore, the hardiness of the sheep must not be overlooked. They're adapted to be kept in highland and steep conditions. For healthy and rapid development, these animals need to spend a lot of time outdoors, walking and grazing in the pastures. As you may have noticed, this breed has no horns. By the way, I keep talking about how big these sheep are, but I never give you any numbers. The height of the Arishan sheep breed exceeds 3.2 feet tall, and they can weigh more than 440 pounds. I wonder what it's like to be an individual of the sheep breed for which 440 pounds is the average weight. Esther. That's the name of our next guest. And no, this is not a breed, a species, or even a family. It's an individual pig that lives in the house of the most ordinary family. And then you'll ask the logical question, what's the fun in that? What makes it different from any other individual? Um, how shall I put it? At the very least, she is greatly distinguished by her size. If someone, like the Chinese, deliberately engaged in creating a breed that can weigh 1,100 pounds, then here the most common pig has reached the 660 pounds mark. What's more, she was originally a mini pig that was given to the Canadians by their friends. The pig wasn't supposed to gain more than 66 pounds, but 
It turned out, as you can imagine, quite the contrary. Of course, the caring owners could no longer abandon the pig and they had to take care of her. And besides, judging from the story, the people and Esther have been friends for a long time now. The pig lives in their house, eats a lot, takes a bath and sleeps on the couch. People film her for their channel where she gets lots of views. What do you think of a pet like this? Would you like to have a cute baby like her? The Giant Bull As unfortunate as it may be to say, animals are almost always bred for slaughter. It's the main source of income for farmers. The same fate awaited this bull named Nickers for his predisposition for growth. Strangely enough, played into his hands. The Holston Frisian cattle avoided the slaughterhouse because he was too heavy, and the workers refused to take him with them. The farmer also thought that such a large animal who became part of his family shouldn't be alienated from it in any way, so the farmer left Nickers on the farm. This bull is a kind of a leader of the farm. You can always get a good look at him from a long distance and see if the other animals are doing okay. You have to agree that from the pictures it looks like some high school student walked into a hallway full of first graders. Nevertheless, this is not the biggest bull in the record book. At least there's an Italian bull named Bellino whose height exceeds six and a half feet. Our hero is not much inferior to the champion. Nickers is 6.3 feet tall and weighs about 3,086 pounds. If you think that only bulls, cows, horses, and similar large animals can be so large, you are deeply wrong. Here's an example of a huge rooster. Just look at how confidently and stately he's walking around his territory and doing his routine inspections. Not surprisingly, as soon as this video hit the internet, viewers immediately questioned it. According to the people, the rooster couldn't be that big. <laughs> Nevertheless, it didn't take long to find the owner of this giant bird and the bird itself. Yes, as you can imagine, that video turned out to be real. It showed a rooster named Miracli from a farm in Kosovo. This individual is a representative of the Brahma chicken breed, which on average is 12 pounds. But Miracli has gone further. His weight's exceeded 18 pounds, and his height has reached 3.2 feet. But don't be frightened. This big rooster is not at all eager to chase away or kick them. It's the opposite here. Large size played a positive role, and Miracli is never aggressive. According to the farmer, it's the kindest bird he's ever met. Miracli doesn't give anyone any trouble and takes care of his two hen friends, which are half his size. Speaking of caring for one's younger brothers, the story of the rooster and his hen friends is not the only one. Moreover, there's an even more striking example. There's a donkey named Benji. He's the largest inhabitant of the farm, although he is only six years old in this footage. Nevertheless, the animal belongs to the American mammoth jackstock breed and can even be compared to some horses. However, his large size didn't infatuate Benji at all, and he calmly befriended the baby named Dinky of his own free will. Dinky, in turn, belongs to the breed of the smallest donkeys that live on our planet. He's a miniature donkey, which ancestors once inhabited the territory of the Mediterranean. Now, this breed is not found in its homeland, but is very popular in Britain and the United States. These creatures are real babies, and usually their height does not exceed 31 inches. I'm sure that after several years of friendship between these creatures will not be broken, but the difference in height will be even greater. It'll be interesting to see them in about five to 10 years. Horse and Pony And this is another story of unusual friendship. On a British farm, a horse named Gunner became friends with a very tiny pony. The big seven-year-old horse used to participate in many festivals and events, but over time he found it much more difficult to do so, and the owners decided to retire him so that he could lead a much calmer life, experience less stress, and enjoy fresh grass. Gunner's life, however, took a different turn and changed altogether as he met the best friend of his life, a pony named Steve. Ironically, the smallest inhabitant of the farm also found something in the big horse, and they became inseparable. Gunner is of the Shire breed. These horses are real heavyweights. They're about six feet tall and often weigh more than a ton. Steve is a Shetland pony. This breed is at least half the size of the Shire. They weigh, at most, 400 pounds. According to the farmers, Steve took the giant under his wing because he's the main old-timer here and doesn't want Gunner to be inconvenienced by anyone. Kesha the camel. The height is about 10 feet. The weight is over a ton. 
lot of wool as well as two humps. Such a description would fit most of some huge mystical creatures, but in fact, the mysterious Mr. X is an ordinary camel with the ordinary name. Kesha is quite unpretentious in food, has classical habits, and in general doesn't differ from his congeners. However, the place where Kesha lives is somewhat unusual. He doesn't live in a classic warm climate, but in a place of snow. There's even a legend that a man gave up drinking alcohol after encountering with Kesha. Uh -huh. Just imagine, a man's walking through snowdrifts, stepping over them, and then he sees a camel standing in the bushes chewing hay. Where else, if not in a terrible dream or in some fairy tale, can one encounter such a thing? As practice shows, you can find it in real life. Kesha has many friends on the farm, everyone loves him, and he has a great time in his cold home. From the biggest to the most expensive ones, next I'll show you the animal eggs that cost a fortune. Almas It's no secret that caviar is not a cheap product. Even an ordinary can of pink salmon red caviar, which is enough for a couple or three sandwiches, is quite expensive, let alone black caviar, which is called the black gold along with oil. Many people think that black caviar is the most expensive of its kind, but it's not. The leader is the unique white caviar, Almas. This caviar is a match to sparkling diamonds in terms of price, as its worth is about $17,000 per pound. That's about three times the price of premium black caviar. For its incredible value, Almas caviar even made it into the Guinness Book of World Records as the most expensive caviar in the world. And since caviar is fish eggs, Almas can safely be called one of the most expensive eggs on the planet. This royal caviar comes to the world market from Iran. Iranian albino beluga spawn it, hence the unusual white color of the product. These fish are rare in their own right, which already determines the cost of almas, but that's not the main thing. Often these fish begin to spawn at an advanced age. By the way, the older the fish, the more expensive its caviar is. Gourmets who have tried this caviar assure that its taste is special, not subject to any comparison. Almas caviar doesn't smell of fish at all, and its taste is like an almond nut. In addition, its energy value leaves behind all meat products. It's not easy to surpass the eggs of the albino beluga, but elephant birds have managed to do it. If you never heard of these birds, it's not surprising as they're long extinct. They lived in Madagascar in the Holocene until the mid-17th century. Elephant birds were very large. They reached more than 10 feet in height and weighed about 1,000 pounds. That's even more than modern ostriches. And of course, they laid eggs, too. The eggs were 12 inches long and had a volume of up to 2.3 gallons. To give you a better understanding, it's 160 times bigger than an ordinary chicken egg. Elephant birds' eggs are very valuable to scientists and collectors. At the moment, about 40 elephant bird eggs are publicly exhibited in the world, and these eggs can be safely called the most expensive on the planet. One such egg can easily cost over $100,000. It's impossible to name the exact price because these eggs are not for free sale, but are bought at auctions by various collectors wishing to get the rarest exhibit of an ancient feathery creature. Eggs for $100,000 is something certainly hefty, but believe me, animals can surprise you even more. What they produce can be worth much more. For example, the waste product of a whale can make a person a millionaire, and the blood of one arthropod can be called priceless because it's saving the world right now. Stay tuned to see these and other animal products that are sure to impress you. Ambergris If someone told you that vomiting could cost a fortune, you'd probably take them to an insane asylum. Nevertheless, it's the plain truth. At least it works with sperm whales. Their belch, ambergris, which forms in their digestive tract, costs about $35 per gram. That's about $1,750 per pound. But sperm whales are very large, so they can belch out several pounds of ambergris. So, in 2019, a fisherman from Thailand found a piece of ambergris worth $350,000 on the shore. And last year, a resident of New Zealand was lucky enough to collect 99 pounds of ambergris worth $2 million. It's easy to confuse ambergris with stone because they look similar. However, unlike rocks, frozen ambergris has a sweet, musky cell. The crazy price of whale vomit can be explained by the fact that ambergris is often used in the perfume industry as a scent fixer which is why the word ambra exists in some languages. It's what they call a fragrance. But in fact, in the 19th century, there was a variety of perfume that was made from essence of gray ambergris. In many expensive perfumes, ambergris is necessarily present, 
and the product itself is also used in traditional medicine and homeopathy. Horseshoe Crab Blood Only the blood of arthropods called horseshoe crabs can be more expensive than whale vomit. It's the aquatic Chelicerata subphylum of the Merostoma class. You probably won't remember it anyway, but you'll definitely remember the fact that the blood of horseshoe crabs is blue. They can rightly be called Bohemian. In spite of the fact that horseshoe crabs lived on our planet for 300 million years, in recent years they began to be especially valued. One liter of blood of these animals can be worth about $20,000. That's because right now horseshoe crabs are helping to fight the coronavirus pandemic. It's all about the unusual blue blood. The blood of these arthropods has a unique property. It clots when even the slightest amount of pathogenic bacteria or other foreign microorganisms get into it, turning into jelly. Thus, the immune system of horseshoe crabs protects other organs from damage. Scientists believe that horseshoe crab blood could be the perfect ingredient to create a universal vaccine against coronavirus. So they've been collecting horseshoe crabs and siphoning precious blood from them for two years now. Yeah, it's brutal in some way, but what can you do to save the world? Kopi Luwak Do you like coffee? What kind of coffee do you like? Arabica or Robusta, perhaps? If you're a true fan of this invigorating drink, then you should definitely taste Kopi Luwak. But be sure to have some money. A pound of this coffee can cost over $500. If it's not a problem for you, then buy it and taste it. But there is one detail. Animals are actively involved in the production of this coffee. Literally. This coffee is produced in Indonesia, the Philippines, India, and Vietnam, where the workers are helped by Asian palm civets, small predatory animals. These predators swallow the most delicious and ripe fruits of the coffee tree, they get into their gastrointestinal tract, then they're partially digested, and then excreted with the feces of the animal. These feces with flecks of beans are picked up by people, processed and made into an elite drink, Kopi Luwak. Yeah, this is how the most expensive coffee in the world is made. Of course, most people would be disgusted at the thought of tasting this product after such information, but it's actually not all that bad. First of all, the production involves wild, not farm Asian palm civets, so they're not force-fed, which affects the quality. Second, the workers process the grains incredibly carefully so that sanitation is fully respected. And third, this unusual processing kills any bitterness and changes the taste for the better. Kopi Luwak has a delicate caramel flavor and smells like chocolate. Gourmets even call it the drink of the gods. In Asia, not only feces coffee is appreciated, but also saliva soup. Asia never ceases to amaze us with its gastronomic oddities, and this is another of them. In this case, I'm talking about bird's nest soup, otherwise known as edible bird's nest. These nests are made by special salangane swiftlets in many Southeast Asian countries. Under the tongue of these birds, there's a pair of salivary glands from which the sticky substance is secreted, which they use to build these unusual nests. On the market, the price of such a nest can be as much as $3,000 per kilogram, although some species of salangane can build nests worth as much as $10,000. The price of soup, on the other hand, ranges from $30 to $100 per serving. Such a high price is explained by the fact that the dish is considered a delicacy and a sacred food, so it's revered among wealthy people. In addition, edible bird's nests have a number of valuable properties. Studies show that edible bird's nests are about 60% protein and 30% carbohydrates. They contain several essential amino acids, as well as the trace elements magnesium and calcium. Nest pickers often eat them raw, right during their workday. They assure that the nests make them strong and hearty. Foie gras. Let's finish the episode with something more pleasant and understandable for us. I'm sure you've all heard of foie gras, the pride of French cuisine and one of the most expensive delicacies in the world. One kilo of foie gras costs about $100. In general, from the French, foie gras translates as fat liver, and this is the essence for the delicacy. Foie gras is a specially prepared liver of a well-fed goose or duck. The main thing in foie gras is that the liver is fatty and large, so before cooking the dish, the goose must be prepared. To do this, it's force-fed. The food is pushed directly into the throat of the bird through a special tube. Every day, up to four and a half pounds of grains are dumped into the throat of the goose or duck. As a result, the bird becomes very fat and its liver can enlarge ten times. As a result, cooked liver has a special texture and tenderness. Gourmets say that in some ways, it resembles butter. Although in many countries of the world foie gras is considered an unethical dish, 
and the production of the delicacy is prohibited there. The French are proud of their delicacy. <laughs> That's it for today. Which of these giants impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching.